Hi everybody. Just wanted to kind of quell some concerns that I've been uh, getting. Some of the comments on YouTube and a lot of people are concerned about uh, the way that I have my van wired up. They were concerned that there, that there could somehow be a fire and I just wanted to um, do a quick video on my electrical system and show you exactly the way everything is run so that you can you rest easy and know that I'll be safe. Up here under the hood, this is the ba my battery isolator I installed and what I have here is uh, I actually took a pair of old jumper cables and cut them apart and used that wire because that was the thickest gauge wire I could find. Um, what this thing does is whenever power is applied here, it connects these two points together and they become as one. So what that does is the uh, power comes from the, the uh, positive side of the battery connects to there this kicks in connects it to this and this runs down um, and back to my marine battery which is grounded to the uh, to the frame of the van and that completes the circuit and charges the battery now when it's off there's no connection there these these two uh, points are not connected and so I don't have to worry about if I'm in the back of the van using power from that battery back there. I don't have to worry about it uh, discharging my main battery up here. I've got a, a 175 amp fuse, inline fuse mounted here for added protection. Um, the way I ran this cable is it actually, um, I ran it down under and up inside this frame you can see how it comes up in to here and it just runs through the frame all along clear to the back of the van and for power if you're looking to hook one of these up I had a hard time finding something that was only on when the ignition was on and what I ended up going with is found in the uh, fuse box I actually found a um, fuse that runs to my uh, electric windows <laughs> I don't know if you can see right here where my finger is I have uh, what they call a fuse jumper it's just a uh, little thing that hooks right in to where your your fuse your fuse that's already in there goes you pull it out it hooks in in its place and you put that fuse in that along with the neck another fuse to fuse whatever you're supplying power to and that way you got a secondary fuse. some concerns and I wanted to alleviate those concerns you see I have this protective plastic covering over all my connections right here and I normally have it screwed down more than just finger tight but i just did that for the video you see what i have here is i just took a piece of uh wood and i s screwed it up here i cut me out two strips of metal I have one mark negative one mark positive i only just stuck these screws in here with washers on them to make easy connections the way I have everything wired up is, the of course, positive goes to positive and to negative. And I use these inline fuses. Got everything fused finally. Uh, this one, you can see how I got a mark. 12 volt port by TV. Uh, the sink lights. My uh, 12 volt port uh, by the sink. And this one's my colored lights. Now I didn't have to run a fuse for the refrigerator because it has its own built-in fuse in here. So I wasn't worried about fusing that. Now everything, the power to power this up runs along this wire 
and down to my battery, my marine battery down here. And the way I have this hooked up is it's running through a, a main fuse right here. So worst case scenario, it'll blow the main fuse, but more than likely it will just uh, blow one of these fuses before anything happens. Down here for my electrical system, what I have going on here is first, of course, I have my marine battery back here. It's wired up uh, to the uh, up to the engine to my uh, battery isolator, so that when the engine is on, it's always charging. Um, second to that, what I hooked up here is I have a 750 watt inverter, 12 volt to to uh, 700. I mean to 110 volt inverter it's got its own built-in fuse system so my electrical my 110 lines that run out of this they have their their own fusing system in that so I wasn't worried about that it's connected it's got its own fuse system connected directly to the battery I just uh, hooked it up here with these uh, little alligator clips um, <coughs> Also connected to this whole thing is this little trickle charger. And what I use that for is when I'm gonna be parked for long periods of time, I can just um, plug this into a regular 110 outlet landline and have uh, this trickle charge. Um, so to power up my system, I usually rent, don't leave it on. I just have it on whenever I'm going to be watching TV or, or uh, using my laptop or, or something, running something that requires 110 volts. But most of the time I leave it off. If I were to, say, be parked at an RV park and want to use landline power, what I can do is unplug. What I did is I, I ran these plugs up to these uh, boxes so I can plug things in in the uh, camper van but what I can do is unplug these just plug them into this and plug this into a landline and then I have shore power 110 volts continuously on my sleeping bag, the portion that I have facing down is always the portion that doesn't have a zipper on it. And so this is how the system looks when it's all uh, screwed back down, everything's stored, and that's how I store my sleeping bag. Perfectly safe, zipper on top. No worries. So the way that I got my uh, wiring running, inside the cab here you can see I have these uh, 410 volt supply those are wired directly into my 750 watt inverter and there's no power going to them unless I have my inverter on and then I have my 12 volt port right here this port is wired directly to my marine battery of course it's going through a fuse and this, of course, is to my TV set, to my antenna that runs up on the roof. So entering from the back here, <clears throat> the way I have things wired up is I have my overhead lights wired up to this switch here. That switch runs directly through a fuse so that everything is fused here. My overhead lighting um, is... LEDs doesn't draw any hardly any amperage at all um, Right here I have a uh, Another 12 volt port and that port is also connected directly to my battery my marine battery And I have one more outlet the only other electrical thing that I have here of course is these little mood lights that I have under the sink and those are just LED, you don't use any wattage. And of course, as I said, my um, 12 volt cooler here, it's um, connected to, uh, 
through its own fuse system so even when it's on it's fused so everything is safe 